Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Kevin here back at it with another video. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about why the Roblox economy is crashing. You may have seen items that people would never think could drop, such as clockwork headphones, Valkyrie helms, and classic fedoras take massive dips in value. These drops have affected just about every trader, including myself, as I have personally lost quite a bit from all these drops happening. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering what led to these drops and the different factors that caused them. But before I begin, I just want to put out a disclaimer that I am not an expert in virtual economies. Even though I have studied and used a fair bit of them, there may be things I get wrong and that when I say that the Roblox economy is crashing, I mean the Roblox Limited's market, not the actual Roblox catalog because that is currently thriving due to cheap UGC items coming out like almost every single hour of the day. All of what I say is based off of my own opinions and theories so they may not be 100% factual but at least provide an explanation of the recent drops and gives you a better understanding of how they happen. So please, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like as I really want more people to know why the Roblox economy crashed. Subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on my theories and turn on post notifications so you never miss my next video. Anyways guys, so to start, we have to begin with how the raises even started in the first place. Generally, the two times that limited items raise the most are during summer and Christmas. This is because these are the times that most people are active and have time to both trade or spend Robux on items. This summer saw an extremely high increase in traffic on Roblox due to the fact that everyone had to stay home and had nothing else to do during quarantine but to hop onto Roblox. I even saw many of my friends that have not played for years come back and try trading again which is really nice and awesome. Anyways, a lot more people could trade limited items and also spend Robux purchasing them. Unfortunately, this led to an inflation of Robux limiteds which would then lead to their inevitable downfall. Items such as Valkyrie Helm and Classic Fedora saw insane raises in both their price and value despite having an extremely high circulation. So I'm on the Valkyrie Helm page on Raleigh Mons right now. If you click on the value tab, you can like see the value of the item over time. So we're going to be comparing the time slot between April and July because this is when items rose the most during the summer season. So January 1st to September 29th, this includes April to July. Basically, Valkyrie Home stayed at a stable 95k for like almost an entire year. 95k stable, 95k. However, if you go to this year, from April to July of this year, only April to July of this year, Valkyrie Home rose from a low of 60k to a peak of 160k. That is a 100k raise, which is absolutely insane. It only took around four months for Valkyrie Home to raise 100k, and it also has an extremely high number of owners. That is absolutely insane inflation, and the same goes for a lot more demand items. Another solid example I have to show you guys is the Clockwork headphones. So here's the Rolling Months page for Clockwork headphones. If you look from May to October, which includes the April to July mark we're looking at, stayed at a stable 175k. However, this year, from April to July, rose from 140k to 300k. Clockwork headphones basically doubled in its value in only four months. There are some big items that barely get traded and like don't they don't even raise that much in like years and Clockwork headphones was able to double its value in only four months. This was great for people that had the items that were inflating but not so great for the ones that didn't. Basically to profit all you had to do was hold onto whatever demand item was available and if you had multiple copies you can make sometimes over 100k value a day. However, as Jeffrey Chaucer once said, all good things must come to an end and that is exactly what happened to the Roblox Limited's market. It only took a quick three to four months for items to inflate to their highest peak but only one week for them to crash and fall insane amounts in value. There were many, many factors that went into this, so let's talk about the first one, everyone's favorite, Raleigh Mons. If you don't know what Raleigh Mons is, it's basically a website that controls the limited items economy and tells everyone what values of items are. Although it's not the most accurate, it is the one used by the majority of traders. In order for items to raise in value, items must be proofed in Raleigh Mons. So you must send screenshots of trades that you make with items in order to get them raised. What Raleigh Mons did was, in order to combat inflation, they only raised items if there was a high amount of solid proofs for that item. The amount of proofs needed was based on an item circulation. So basically, if you want Clockwork Headphones to raise, you will need a high number of proofs as there are many copies of Clockwork Headphones in existence. 
However, if you wanted to get an item like Dominus Astro to change value, you would only need one or two proofs, as there are barely any owners of that item. In my eyes, what Raleigh Mons did was kind of smart. They refused to raise items too high in order to make sure inflation did not get out of hand. This got to the point, however, where Raleigh Mons would refuse to raise items, and that would eventually lead the items to drop. Let me explain this. So the thing with inflation is, it is only temporary. So if Raleigh Mons kept raising an item, it would keep getting momentum and traction fast. However, if the item is not raised for a long time, owners start to lose interest and try to trade off their item for the value that Raleigh Mons has it listed for instead of taking more. I hope that kind of makes sense, but an example would be the Clockwork Headphones again. Clockwork Headphones rose to a peak of 300k value. As soon as it rose to 300k, there was a massive amount of proofs sent to Raleigh Mons for the item to raise to 320k value, as many people were getting 320k off their clockwork headphones. However, since Wally Mons refused to raise the headphones for a long time, people started to lose interest and the item started to lose its hype and momentum. This led to owners trading the clockwork headphones for only 300k as Wally Mons had them valued as that. And then when people stopped paying 300k, owners started panicking and trading them for less. The thing with Wally Mons is they are slow to raise items, but they are quick to kill. As soon as items started to go for less than their listed value, Raleigh Mons quickly dropped the hammer and slaughtered many demand items. As you can see, the same pattern happened with Sparkle Time Fedora, Clockwork Shades, and many more demand items with an extremely high number of copies available. Sometimes Raleigh Mons even also drops items to values way lower than what they were actually going for. But since Raleigh Mons is king in controlling the economy, these values stayed, and items that weren't even going for what Raleigh Mons originally dropped them to eventually started to fall as well. The second reason that I believe that the Roblox Limited market is dying is due to all of the recent hacks and compromises on Roblox accounts. Usually hackers target accounts with high value limited items, and then to make money they trade away the items or sell them for cheap. This can sometimes destroy items if someone has multiple copies of the same item and then hackers trade them all for cheap. It only adds to the item circulation and gives people reason to not pay higher than what they can get certain items for. Basically, imagine if someone had 20 Valkyrie Helms and had their account hacked. That's now 20 Valkyrie Helms put into the market that people can get. And if they get rolled back and get the 20 Valkyrie Helms back, then that's another 20 added to the market. This summer, I have seen way more accounts hacked than in recent years. There have been so many security issues in Roblox due to so many items being put into the market due to a high number of account hacks. It basically aided in destroying the value of some items. It's even worse if someone with a rare item is hacked because there are so little owners of rare items that if one is hacked, then that is another put into the market. This is seen with the Magnus Spectral Inspectors. This item used to be insanely good and got massive overpays. However, due to many stolen copies coming to circulation, the item has lost momentum and is starting to die out. I constantly see many copies of items such as Class Fedora, Yum, Prankster, and other high demand items get stolen and traded for cheap. Tying back to Rolling Mons, once these trades are proofed, owners panic. The Raleigh Mons staff see it as items going for low balls and so the item eventually starts to tank. Alright guys, and my last and final reason that ties everything together has to do with the basic concept of supply versus demand. This concept is taught in almost all economics classes, but I'm going to put it in simple terms as we are dealing with the Roblox virtual economy and not an actual one. The basic principles still apply however, so to explain supply and demand based off Roblox Limited, the supply is the amount of copies up for trade and the demand is how much people want the item and are willing to overpay for it. As items started raising due to inflation, that calls for demand to increase and for people to start holding their items in order to make easy profit without even having to trade. However, as more and more stolen copies of Limited came into circulation, that calls for supply to increase, and because Rolling Mons kept refusing to raise items and stolen copies kept going for cheap, that calls for demand to decrease. From this, since there was a higher supply of items and a lower demand for them than before, this calls for items to decrease in value. And since the items inflated up to a higher price than ever before, that calls for items to deflate at an insanely fast rate. From everything that I said and like all the theories that I've come up with, I can't say that items surprised that this happened. 
I kind of already knew that items would eventually start to drop because inflation does not last forever. You can't expect an item like Volkerhelm with super high circulation and a lot of people wanting to trade it to last at a super high price forever because eventually you're going to have someone desperate to trade it off and when no one's offering overpays they're going to trade it off for a low ball or for equal which eventually causes items to deflate and drop. Anyways guys that basically sums up why the Roblox limited economy is crashing and why so many items are dropping. Of course, as I said, I am not an expert in virtual economy, so please do not take my word for anything, as these are my theories and opinions. In my mind, this all makes sense, and I hope that it possibly explained to you why the recent drops on high demand items happen. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on the crash of the Roblox limited market, and turn on post notifications so you never miss my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a good day, and as always, Kevi out.